cloud in sight It stopped raining, everybody's in a play And don't you know, it's a beautiful day Hey, running down the avenue See how the sun shines brightly All right. in the city it's All the streets the the merge. It's happening right now, isn't it? Right now, it is It's happening, it's happening right now the Dimensional Merge, or the Dimensional Merger, if you're an even bigger retard, is a supposedly apocalyptic event in which Chris believes that Dimension 1218 and Dimension C197, which are the universe of real life and the parallel universe where Sonichu and other fictional characters live, will combine, bring fictional characters into reality, and in which Chris, being the designated leader of the event, will ascend onto godhood. Before the video continues, let me show you some statistics. Only 15% of blah, my blah, viewers blah, are blah, actually blah, subscribed. Blah, Blah 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 you're gonna subscribe to me and leave a like and you're gonna snap out of it in three two one if you think what I just said is absolutely abhorrently incomprehensible, well then my dear friend, stick around to find out. Spoiler alert, you'll just end up more mentally deranged. The so-called merge is just an escapist fantasy and coping mechanism for Chris. Originally, part of the lore the idea guys had brainwashed into Chris, the dimensional merge is Chris's latest means of avoiding reality by believing that it will rescue him from his self-inflicted real-life problems and enable him to continue living like a man-child. First announced in October 2018, the merge was expected to take place by the end of the year. That deadline and several others have passed without incident, but Chris has remained persistent. In the years since, indulging this belief has become the default latching on point for would-be trolls. Chris has, for a long time, believed in the existence of one or more alternative universes where every fictional character lives. He first alluded to this belief during a January 2010 phone call with Alec Benson Leary, in which he told Leary that Aspertu would surely have negative feelings about his own name and repeatedly called Larry naive for explaining that Aspertu is not a living sentient creature who lives in another universe and can independently generate his own thoughts. This is most likely one of the things Chris has learned from television. More specifically, he offered the 1988 animated comedy film Who Framed Roger Rabbit to Larry as evidence for a toon world inhabited by every published or unpublished cartoon character. From then up to the Dimensional Merge saga, Chris has increasingly believed that the fictitious city of Quickville and his characters were real embracing their alleged existence as a way to escape from anything he does not like. Chris has been spotted conversing, interacting and even dancing with his imaginary friends on many occasions. An OC, short for original character or original creation, is a character in fan work that didn't previously exist in the source material. In Chris's fantasy world, however, it is a term which refers to any resident he envisions in Dimension C197, regardless of the original creator. Chris has also used the term to refer to himself as a goddess. In this case, the term is short for original creator, solely because he believes OCs originate in the C197 dimension he rules over. Before this, Chris had created a huge multitude of characters of other franchises, primarily ones from the Sonic the Hedgehog canon. For at least a decade, Chris had believed the possibility that all fictional characters may actually exist in an entirely separate dimension. However, this would later transition into him actually believing that the universe is one big cartoon, where every living thing is actually a character of said cartoon. With this delusional mindset, people such as the Idea Guys fan the flames of Chris's detachment from reality and further convince him it's possible to communicate with OCs. Chris has stated on at least one occasion that the primary reason why people who are less enlightened than him cannot see or interact with these OCs is because all the dimensions are separated by a force field referred to as the fourth wall. This barrier is completely impenetrable by all mortal beings, but it can be pierced by OCs so that they can communicate with beings living in dimensions such as 1218. Chris believes that it is the primary duty for everyone to break past the barrier once and for all and get the chance to live with their OC for eternity. To add an extra layer of insanity, Chris has even stated that all characters from live action shows such as Sainfield and the Big Bang Theory also count as OCs that were created in a separate dimension. He believes that all of the events that happen in such TV shows are more or less a recording of the creators entering dimension C197. Throughout 2017, Chris appeared convinced by the idea guys that the Sonic and Hyper Dimension Neptune universes actually existed, but in a separate dimension. In July 2018, Chris tweeted that Marvel writer Sean McGuire <whistles> 
asking him to confirm the dimension number of this Earth. Maguire responded with Earth 1218 and later clarified that this was Marvel Universe's designation for the real universe. Chris took it as gospel and subsequently uses 1218 to refer to the actual existing universe. Weeks later, Maguire reiterated once again that everything was imaginary, but Chris's response to Maguire and various trolls indicate that he still believes that people such as Maguire can communicate with other dimensions. Over the summer and fall of 2018, Chris met with a Teen Troon squad who gave him weed and he pretended to be possessed by Sonic Chu characters and stated that the universes would merge. Which by the way, from what I know, weed most certainly doesn't leave you that fried. We start seeing and believing in other dimensional beings. If he consumed something more like the Tura or Ayahuasca, then I would understand where he got all these insane visions. Now this snippet is more related to the financial crisis than anything, but it's still hilarious to hear and it's centered around the dimensional merge. Chris believes that he is wealthy in Quickville and that when the dimensions merge, he will have access to his money there and he'll be able to pay off his current real world debts. He is asked to borrow money from people, claiming he'll pay back 10 times the amount once the merge concludes, not realizing he sounds like a more autistic version of the Nigerian prince scam. On the 8th of October, Chris tweeted, Sometimes I just want to give up, but my loves won't let me. If people could help us here in this world, monetarily, we would be okay. I promise all of you that when that day comes, I will reimburse you, personally, in the nation of Quickville. He followed up on the 23rd of October with, When the worlds merge, I will have access to tons of savings in Quickville. It is a lot of money indeed. 10 to 1 is my repayment rate. On the 24th of September 2018, Chris was sued by second round sub for unpaid debt and on the 23rd of September 2018, Midland funding followed suit. The case for the former was postponed to January, but the verdict on the Midland case was read on the 19th of September 2018, requiring Chris to pay $2,777.90 at 6% interest and $55 in court costs. Remarkably, he has done little begging in the wake of the lawsuits. This has surprised many considering the immense amount of times he has groveled online for money in the years 2016 to 2018. He has instead chosen to stick his head in the sand and pretend that the merge will solve all of his problems for him. On the 26th of October 2018, Chris posted the video entitled Dimensional Merge Announcements, where he outlined the process of 1218 merging with its sister dimension, C197, where every fictional character known to exist resides. He believes that once the merge occurs, Earth will be shared by humans and various characters. On the 14th of November 2018, Chris made a tweet explaining the survival rate for the inhabitants of the sister dimensions during the merge. Chris explains that the population math as follows. 61.25% of the population of dimension C197 is identical to that of Earth in dimension 1218. The remaining 38.75% of the population of C197 are OCs or original characters which are unique to C197. All of the OCs of C197 are guaranteed to survive the merge, meanwhile at least 50 51% of the human population of the Earths and both sister dimensions will survive the merge and at least 41% will not with any uncertainty of 8%. The best outcome of the merge will leave 59% of the population of 1218 alive and all of the 38.75% of the OCs of C197 plus 11.25% of the human population of C197 in the dimension 1218C197, the dimension 1C211987 would be left with 109% of 1218 current population, leaving approximately 8.365 billion humans and OCs in the new universe. Naturally, he believes that he will be guaranteed survival because he absorbed the spiral seal from his Sega Dreamcast and is therefore the middleman between the two dimensions. He believes that himself and Megan are basically deities and that he will gain superpowers following the merge because of his belief that he is half Sonichu. He sent dozens of follow-up tweets further detailing the process explaining that Quickville would replace Northern Virginia, Gotham City would replace a portion of New Jersey and Equestria will take over the entirety of Maryland. He explained that this will resemble a natural disaster scenario and that mass evacuations may occur during the merge. On the 18th of November 2018, Chris announced that the merge had begun. This date weirdly coincided with the anniversary of the Jonestown mass suicide, implying that the Idea Guys had originated the merge concept as their calling card was inserting infamous historical dates into Quickville lore. In early December 2018, Chris reported feeling psychic headaches and associated the merge with the California wildfires and the romaine lettuce recall. As the merge drew closer, he claimed to have lightning powers and that millions of volts of electricity in his head is evidence that he is half Sonichu. Without giving a time estimate for the merge, he tried to dispel doubts by claiming that he can touch and feel Magichan and Chris and Rosechu. He estimated that the merge would conclude
conclude by the year's end. On Christmas 2018, someone claiming to be Magichan logged into Chris's Twitter, posting a paste bin dump containing the docs of one of the Teen Troon Squad's members. They also stated that the merge would actually take place in 20 years due to time dilation and that Sonichu residents of C197 would need to hibernate until then. Chris ultimately disregarded the news. Naturally, New Year's Eve of 2018 was an eagerly awaited moment as the final chance for the cataclysm to occur. In the early morning hours of the 1st of January 2019, Chris spoke out on Twitter in a New Year's address, explaining that the merge had not happened on time due to red tape, betraying some internal bureaucracy in the process of becoming the goddess of 80s computers. He remained insistent that the event would still occur, adding in reassurance that the Sonic Reverse was still awake to remind everyone of the Magichan Doxing's non-canon status. Good New Year, everyone. I shall make my statement for now, and I want no backtalk or hateful commentary. The Dimension merge of C197 on our 1218 is still in progress. There's more damn red tape to work through, but our goal is still set. It is only delayed. Everyone of C197 is still very much awake. We have secured our foire in a magic proof cell a few days ago. Not even that witch's career on Facebook can say otherwise, because I know better, and a word shall never go to or sway me in any other way. I still remain the CPU blue heart of the Commodore console, Quickville and Coma, and everyone is safe and well. But for now, I shall delay online talk with the Dimension Merge through my social media accounts until further notice. And I still remain very much married to Magichan Sonichu, Grizel Rostru, Sylvana Rostru, and Mewtwo. There's room for at least one more from this dimension, but there is no rush. For now, Happy New Year, everyone. Dismiss. Lightning Bolt Emoji, Blue Heart Emoji, and Lightning Bolt Emoji. The context behind Chris's aside about Air Foire was revealed in screen caps Lucas leaked on Slash Cow. But before anything, who the fuck is our foire? Well, our foire, occasionally misspelled by Chris as our voire, is an antagonist from the Hyper Dimension Neptunia video game series. Due to an idea guy's influence, Chris believes that the character is responsible for possessing various trolls and attempting to prevent the dimensional merge. In December 2017, troll sweetheart Jessica Quinn attempted to lead on Chris for a third time, having broken up with him twice before. Chris, wary of the situation, turned to idea guy Joshua Wise and asked him for input, sending Wise several photos of Quinn, including Ludes, to analyze. Believing Wise had access to Sailor Mercury's computer and could inform him as to whether Quinn was a troll or not, Wise shut down Quinn's attempt to return by telling Chris she was really Neptunia villain R4. A year later, and several months after the outing of the idea guys, the concept of R4 was revisited again, this time involving the Teen Troon squad. The squad, having been doxxed by the guard dogs, cut their losses and leaked various communications with Chris and videos, including all star, a set of masturbation tapes held over from the idea guy saga, before distancing themselves from Chris. Chris believes the face turn from the squad, especially its leader Lucas, was largely due to them being possessed by our foire. Nearly a year later, Chris's anger at the squad dissipated and during his phase of role-playing as Magichan, expressed that he missed the squad and hopes they were free of our foire's influence so that they and Chris could hang out again. The squad declined the open invitation to troll Chris again. Chris also believed that our foire represented an obstacle to the dimensional merge. On the 1st of January 2019, upon the merge's failure to occur, Chris believed it was due to red tape and other complications, stating that R4 had been locked away in a magic-proof cell to prevent interference with the merge. Now, going back to what was said previously, screenshots, which were leaked by Lucas on Slash Cow, shows a person claiming to be the R4 possessed Jessica Quinn, who PMs Chris over Facebook, saying she had tricked Chris into believing in the merge. However, the attached post from Lucas suggests that Lucas had been posing as Quinn in an attempt to pass the blame onto her. I'm not even the one who started the merge thing, I just tricked my mum sugar daddy into buying Chris's porn shit. Here's screenshots Chris sent me of text from Jessica Quinn, pretty sure she's the one. Despite Chris stating that he would abstain from talking about the merge online until further notice, he went on to mention it the following day while writing about the health problem superpowers that he got from it. On the 4th of January 2019, Chris said that he was awaiting further information on the merge. When they came that the entire merge event had been scripted and fed to him by trolls who were no longer in the picture. Because of some deity level red tape, it's delayed but it will happen soon enough. Don't make a big deal about it until I have more further information about it. Particularly troubling about Chris's comment is that he wants more information in order to verify that his delusional thoughts are real. By admitting this, he highlighted a path for new trolls to get into his head, showing he failed to learn from the idea guy's saga. Several eager weens rushed in to fill the gap in Chris's knowledge, though by mid-June 2019, Chris had apparently become overwhelmed with these, 
and has since turned to other, more credible sources. After the first deadline for the merge had passed, Chris remained optimistic that the merge would still happen at some point. While he was initially quiet about it, he began ramping up the rants about the merge again around spring, and on the 31st of March, he tweeted, The hashtag dimensional merge is still happening and ongoing. C197 plus 1218 equal 1C one minus 211987. OCs are really becoming more obvious here. There are even sightings of a Dio blonde vampire in Egypt. Descendants beware. Dio is coming after you. <laughs> Several merge-related tweets followed in April in which he claimed that people in Japan were seeing OCs and blaming the Notre Dame church fire on a Pokemon. The events around this time give context to Chris's renewed interest in the merge. Earlier in March 2019, after Chris was gifted a Nintendo Switch, he developed an obsession with playing the augmented reality game Pokemon Go. The game's premise revolves around using smartphones to see Pokemon characters in a real-world setting which coincides with Chris's belief about the merge. On the 2nd of April, Chris was sued for depth for the fourth time, further confirming the link between the merge and his financial problems. And on the 3rd of April, a new troll entered the stage with future message from Crystal Western Chandler, who presented himself to Chris as a messenger of the merge. Beginning in summer 2019, Chris would emphasize more often that the merge is already done and would soon be completely finished, like an obscure sect leader struggling to explain to his followers after the fact why the second coming had not come when he calculated it should. On the 13th of June 2019, Chris claimed that he had been consulting with Jesus Christ and that Jesus had been helping him with the dimensional merge which would be finished in the near coming days, but without giving an actual set date. Chris also mentioned that Jesus has been preaching this at church and in Pokemon gyms and yet needed Chris to help get the word out by posting to his protected Twitter account. Naturally, after indulging in his fantasies on the matter, Chris begged for money. As July 2019 began, Chris tried to demonstrate his divine abilities through hashtag psychic powers, a pair of videos in which Chris drops items from his hand by the idiomotor effect. On the 8th of July, he tried to assure his true and honest believers on Twitter that the merge's effect would be mild and temporary, and continued his long trend of attributing random events in the news as harbingers of the merge. On the 10th of July, Chris, via his magic and suck puppet on Twitter, complained about the many uninspired trolls who have tried to take advantage of the merge to exploit Chris. This has not prevented others, such as the multidimensional White Knights or Jacob Sockness, from attempting to weasel their way into Chris's inner circle. To advance his belief in the merge, Chris has resorted to using Sock Puppet accounts on Twitter, most prominently MagicChan111448, to broadcast events. Whether he's using this as a transparent disguise to convince others, or he genuinely thinks that he's channeling his cartoon character's thoughts and statements into a microblogging platform, is unclear. On the 14th of August 2019, MagicChan would announce that he has allegedly arrived into the real world and would presently describe in a video the merge's status. In a Discord message on November 2019, Chris was still pinning for the merge, stating, as for getting me into C197, that has to happen ASAP. In March 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Chris believed it to be a sign of the impending merge. On the 29th of December 2020, Chris announced that the merge is on. Later on the day, Chris stated that the merge is on. Post was in reference to an Apex event, most likely referring to him attempting to break the Iron Curtain. The next day, Chris went into further detail, alluding the merge is happening on New Year's Day 2021. When New Year's Day came, Chris clarified he meant the merge would happen any moment at the present time, meaning very soon after New Year. On January 2020, Chris announced that the merge would be completed, making it the third time he had claimed the merge would happen at the specific time. Back in the 30th of October 2020, Chris, pretending to be Sonichu, stated, if you cannot get Chris's body back to C197 and Chris and Sonichu's soul swapped, Chris could not return to 1218. When Chris and Sonichu swapped on the 25th of February 2021, Chris was expecting the merge to happen on that day because of the swap, which is why he said, the dimension merge is happening. Know which universe you are in when are suddenly transported peoples. This would be the fourth time Chris had claimed the merge would happen at a specific time. Due to the merge not happening on the 25th of February and MLP5 G5 movie screenshots being leaked, Chris decided to leave Twitter to remain in his cognitive dissonance. Predictably, this commitment to leave the website lasted only a single day. 
On the 9th of March 2021, Chris claimed that 1218 and C197 were one combined dimension in the past, but King Arthur and other kings used magic to separate the combined dimensions and send all known magic to C197, also known as they created the so called Iron Curtain. Now, the Iron Curtain was a political boundary dividing the Western and Eastern countries of Europe during the Cold War. To Chris, however, an Iron Curtain is apparently the proper name for the barriers that separate dimensions from one to another, including our own. Sort of like the central finite curve in Rick and Morty, only slightly more retarded. I'm working on it. Given that the idea guys had a strange fixation with the Soviet Union, the naming of this delusional phenomenon is possibly their doing. Chris has also referred to such a barrier as a fourth wall. According to Chris, cartoons can actually interact with people from other dimensions. This is what he refers to as breaking the fourth wall. This is based on a trope of the same name, where characters of media get to interact with the audience, sometimes commenting on their current scenarios or stating what the audience might be thinking during said scenario. According to Chris, only beings that are just as powerful as him are able to interact with the residents of dimensions outside our own, which he refers to as OCs. He has determined that the primary cause of this is from a mysterious force he refers to as a fourth wall. He describes it as being an impenetrable barrier that only OCs are able to pass through for a short period of time and directly communicate with the viewer. He believes that a few of these OCs are also watching everything that the people on the Earth dimension are doing. Chronicling it, and even channeling them. In Chris's case, he believes that the OC, Quick Sightlight, whom is meant to be a CPU goddess representation of the Quickie or the Quikipedia, is his metaphysical chronicler. Chris has also stated that ever since the dimensional merge, the people that have survived are returning the favor being stalked by cartoon characters by becoming one with the cartoon themselves. Aaron Curtin has often come up in Chris's ramblings about the dimensional merge and spirit possessions. He has concocted many notions for how the curtain could be broken. In November 2020, Chris had a vision about the Chris Chan doppelgangers, which had been spawned by a spell Jacob Sockness had cast. In his vision, he believed that one such doppelganger to be working at Manchester High and would die by either suicide or heart attack so that the doppelganger's power could be absorbed by the main Chris Chan for breaking the Iron Curtain. On the 27th of July 2021, Chris posted a video where he once again protested against Generation 5 of My Little Pony. The same video showed what appeared to be a wall with multiple dents and holes behind. Behind him. At first, it was assumed that Chris had punched into the wall out of anger prior to the recording of the video. However, when the WCT asked him what happened, Chris claimed that the wall was damaged because he was supposedly preparing for the day he would finally break the iron curtain between dimension 1218 and another unspecified cartoon dimension. The dents and holes have apparently been there for some amount of time prior to the video, and he has seemingly been occasionally punching the wall in order to practice for such an event. Chris has written in a 25th of May 2020 letter directed towards Kenneth Engelhardt, telling him that he believes that the dimensional merge has already happened, and as a result of all the people he's deemed as toxic, has suddenly evaporated. As he later learned, that was not the case. During his arrest on the 1st of August 2021, Chris declared that the merge is on, once again, possibly believing that it will get him out of jail. As he was being arrested, Chris noted that in his mind the merge was almost complete as he denied the reality setting in that he'd be thrown into the brig for a very long time. Some anticipated that with enough time away from the internet and left purely to his own devices, Chris might come to realize the truth. However, instead of being a wake-up call, Chris reignited the interest in the Bible instead, causing him to retreat even further into his fantasies, believing himself to be Jesus Christ reincarnated. Over many correspondences from jail, Chris outlined a judgment day, with the following three events are supposed to occur. Continuation of the dimensional merge. The collective shift, where all the good and neutrals in the world will be sent to C197 and the haters, referred to in ramblings as the toxic minority, will be left behind on a doomed world as a rapture occurs. The second coming, where Chris will descend from the Temple of Sonichu and personally carry out the collective shift, as well as rescue buildings and artifacts he happens to like. While that one did eventually happen, it was merely Chris's return to the internet. After the second coming, Chris has began to blame Russia for the delays, especially the Russo-Ukrainian war, which just so happened to begin on Chris's 14th birthday. The trigger for the war was, of course, Putin personally pitching My Little Pony G5, especially invented to be Russian propaganda. Chris has later stated that if Hasbro was to cancel the series, make five more seasons of Generation 4 and remake G5 from the ground up, then World War 3 would end and the merge would continue. In a series of letters addressed to a number of individuals penned during his incarceration, Chris has continued to
to maintain his belief in the merge. Even as he incorporated several aspects of Christianity and biblical references into his ever-shifting mythos, despite his apparent newfound faith in God and his self-identification as a living reincarnation of Jesus himself, he has consistently kept his title of CPU Blueheart, making numerous allusions to his belief in the merge across all of his letters. In his first widely publicized message from jail, he claimed that the merge was completed and concluding, echoing similar beliefs in his second missive. Most noticeably in the third letter from jail addressed to a ween attempting to convert him to Islam, he states that the merge is completed, with only the failing earth of his home dimension awaiting eventual incorporation into Chris's OC infested utopia. While some expected his time behind bars to humble or educate him, Chris has evidently chosen to further settle himself within his imaginary world, likely doubling down on the merge's use as a coping mechanism in the belief that it will rescue him from his imprisonment and probable conviction. The merge's future course is subject only to Chris's whims and is not dependent upon Chris's deteriorating finances, his aged mother's declining health or any other event in 1218. Originally supposed to be complete within a few months of its announcement, it is now nearly complete and yet continues to be pushed further into the future. As nothing in Chris's world objectively changes except the identities of his enabling rivals for incompetence. Whether Chris will abandon his belief in the merge, in the event of some external shock like Barb's death and its fallout, or retreat even further into it is something only time can tell. And that's the end of the video. This is probably by far one of the most mentally deranged videos I've probably ever made. I hope you people fucking enjoyed this, I guess, and goodbye.